UK show, six year anniversary podcast. This is Ron Moore along with the Darth Gentoo. Uh, hey. Um, I like ramen noodles. They're my favorite food. And yeah. I wish you could have a new intro for this anniversary edition, but uh, Michael Burhan, I think, uh, was actually going to make a new intro for us, but unfortunately, he is not able to probably make intros for a while. He's got something going on. and uh, But anyway, yeah, I mean, um, for the S2K, uh, I'd like to thank those that were responsible for making the intros over the years for us. I remember X1 Saint, uh, a.k.a. Matthew Murphy, um, he made some of the intro that that Streets of Rage music intro where it showed um, SC2K on the clouds or on the sky. I forgot what it was. And he made that one. That was uh, probably the best one we had. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah. And uh, I would still use those even once in a while. But uh, I mean, here recently I've been using Shadows, the section. Um, and that's always plug his channel in the description. He has like over a thousand subscribers now, I think. So he's been probably making some, a lot of good intros for people. And uh, I think he also made that uh, the old SC2K uh, uh, logo that we used for a long time uh, that matched the intro. And so the intro, uh, the logo you see now was made by, I believe, Dress from the SC2K.com website. He's the moderator. And uh, speaking of that, uh, for those of you who don't know, the SC2K website is back up after a four-year hiatus, SC2K.com. And, yeah, so the website is back. Kevin wanted to bring it back. And for those of you who don't remember, it's a forum. Uh, S2K was a website first before it ever became a YouTube channel. Um, established 2004. It was a forum. We talked about video games mainly, among other stuff, wrestling, movies, music. Kevin wanted to bring it back. We tried to bring it back last year for the 10th anniversary, but we just were not able to do it. And so now it is back. Uh, Star Soldier is a part of it. Believe it or not, people like the Gaming Goose and Heavy Metal Gamer have joined. Wait, the Gaming Goose joined? Yeah. Hmm. He uh, joined a while back. Uh, he hasn't posted anything in a while, but uh, he he did join. And because I plugged the website on the Magus group and the Reclaim the YouTube community group, uh, our YouTube gaming community group, and yeah, um, so, so several people have joined. Uh, of course, uh, the old crew, DJ, um, B- uh, Blue Rose, who was. Uh, She's gone to several different names over the years on YouTube, and I can't think of any more at the top of my head. There's a, I forgot, I think we got 20-something members so far. We had Alpha. So just, do what? Alpha 621. Yeah, Alpha 621, and uh, yeah, that's right, you, of course. Uh, yeah, forget me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I am just an affiliate now, meaning I don't want to administrate the form anymore. Uh, I just don't want that responsibility anymore. I just want to do videos and um, network on Facebook and Twitter and just be a regular member or Kevin had me categorized as affiliates or as, as an affiliate. But uh, I am a co-founder of SC2K. Me and Kevin founded it in August 2004. And so um, now it is back as a website. And it's a pretty small, tight-knit community. Please check it out and join. You can talk about video games and various other topics, entertainment, movies, television, all that good stuff. And so, yeah, um, that's pretty cool that the website is back. And this past year, not a bad year for LPs, but it's mainly been me doing it. Unfortunately, no one else has been doing LPs on S2K. And that may be various reasons. People are just busy or maybe lost interest because YouTube is not as popular as it used to be. And so, but this past year, though, not that bad for the S2K. I was able to do a pretty good amount of videos on the channel. And I think, Gen2, you might may, might be making a comeback, at least for your channel. Is that right? Um, yeah, actually. We're, like I mentioned, my computer is in a bad state. Like I mentioned, something about my hard drive and part of my motherboard getting fried last year for my thunderstorm and right now I'm saving towards a new computer so we're gonna have some pretty good ECW LPs in the future yeah that's that's good uh, last fall my computer the power supply got fried because of lightning and but I had that one replaced the the power supply replaced Right. And uh, but I did get a new computer finally. I'm uh, actually renting to own a new computer, um, and so 
it's about time because now I can actually um, maybe record uh, games like some a lot of 64 games and maybe some Wii games or or GameCube games rather. Um, and so because I've always wanted to at least someday do GoldenEye maybe as an LP or something. And because my old computer, I can play 64 games, but as you've seen with Ocarina of Time, I barely pull that off. Right. And it's tough to play 64 games with a PS2 controller. Like, I had a computer kind of like yours. That's the one I did the Shadowgate 64 LP with. Oh, man. Remember how laggy it was when I tried to pause the game? Yeah, and you had to skip through the cutscenes? Yeah, I had to skip all the cutscenes. Yeah. Oh, that was... <laughs> Well, and the f and you, you you try to do Superman 64, but you tapped out. Yeah, I, I tapped. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. Too tough. It's sad, though, when there's a game that's worse than Shadowgate 64. Yep. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so looking at the video list here for the S2K channel, um, the past year, first July 21st of last year, me and we got did a we did the fifth anniversary podcast, and that wasn't as fun as the previous year's podcast. I, mean, I remember, like, at least the first three podcasts. I don't remember the fourth one, but the parts one, uh, the first, second, third year anniversary podcast were very funny and very entertaining. Recently, I listened to the third year anniversary podcast, which is an hour and a half long. That one was good. That was like me, Star, me, you, Star Soldier, we got in J-Man. And that was good stuff. <laughs> And uh, fortunately, uh, last year's podcast is kind of lame. Just me and we got sitting there talking. Uh, 34 views, two thumbs up, one thumbs down, three comments. <laughs> and it's not just because the podcast is lame, but again, YouTube, the viewership has gone down because of all the changes. Right. And but and then this podcast might not be anything super special either because it's just two of us and it's hard to get. It was hard to get anybody else in the podcast, so. Um, but I mean, I, I still want to do one, and uh, just to talk about six years and of YouTube uh, for S2K, and then the website being back and all the good stuff and all the projects that were done over the past year. Um, it's been an interesting year for me personally. I got to move back to my old apartment, and that was pretty cool. Um, but. Uh, Again, going back to last summer, um, last July, I did, I was doing the Mario Land games, Mario Land LPs. I did one and two. And I already, you know, when's the last time I did a Game Boy game? So that was pretty interesting, you know, doing the Game Boy game. Right. I don't know if that's the first time I ever doing I did a Game Boy Advance with a Mario Advance. Oh, yes, yeah, Mario Advance years ago, but as far as, like, Game Boy games, I don't remember if I've ever done it. So Mario Land might have been the first one. Mario Land 1 and 2. And then I finally finished um, Mario Land 2. It was, it was starting, like, July, late July, early August, and I finally finished it, in a, like, on Halloween. <laughs> yeah, finally finished it on Halloween. Um, and then there's the next LP that I start, didn't start till like around Christmas time was Double Dragon 1. Double Dragon 1 for the NES. Oh, yeah. That was a good game. Yeah, that was a fun LP. I believe there's only two parts to it. Part 1, me, Green, and Star Soldier. And I told Green, well, this video will be audible this time. <laughs> he goes, uh-huh, we'll see about that. <laughs> no magic and, school bus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Double Dragon 3 for Genesis? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, and so, yeah, uh, I did Double Dragon 1. Part 2, what the less discussed, was done with me, Star Soldier, and We Guy. That was a funny one. because Actually, there's three parts. Part 2 was me and J-Man. Uh. Part 3 was me, Star Soldier, and We Guy, which was done on New Year's Eve. Um, that was funny because the ending was glitching. Oh. That was funny because the emulator. <laughs> that was funny stuff. And so I, I ca the final part, I called it Let's Play Discuss Single Dragon because it's only one player. That was Star Soldier's idea. I called it Single Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> and then January 4th, 2015, 
the 2014 year in review that was featuring me, Wee Guy, and uh, J-Man, and Purple. And after that, on January 23rd, I started the LP of Double Dragon 2. That was my favorite one. Yeah, Double Dragon 2. Um, me and J-Man, or J-Man did his review. That's the first review I've ever seen of J-Man. He did his review of the game and entered it into my contest back in 2009. <laughs> and uh, we all, me and him also did a low-budget Let's Play of it on my channel. Nice. And um, so in this LP on the S2K, it was me, J-Man, Green, and, and you. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't remember which Double Dragon it was, but yeah, it was two. <laughs> yeah. Because I remember doing one part. Yeah. Man, I missed the one with me and Wee Guy co op in it. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe he deleted that. See, that's... Uh, he, he deleted that because I, I forgot why. Like he, 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 did, he deleted a lot of his old videos saying he wasn't happy with it or whatever. And I'm like, they weren't that bad. I mean, I understand they were stupid and horrible, but they really weren't. Maybe in his, by his perspective, they're not, but... And someone someone posted on the s 2 Facebook a while back, hey, what happened to We Guy and Gen 2's LP of Double Dragon 2? It's not on there no more. Or uh, I think it's actually, was that done on, no, that was done on We Guy's channel, though, was it? It was done on his blip. On his blip, okay. And I thought it was done on, I thought it might be done on YouTube also, on his channel. Here. Well, I know it was done on S2K, but someone that went to the S2K Facebook, because they were trying to look for the video and they couldn't find it anywhere. Right. And so there's like, well, let me ask those guys at S2K, and then I told them, I said, I really don't know, man. Uh, that's that was We Guys Project. Uh, did it disappear? Did he delete it? That was a funny video. Was it two parts? I forgot. Uh, two parts of Double Dragon Two. Then it was two parts of Contra. Two parts of Super C. I think it was three parts of Super C. I remember the Double Dragon Two one. That was hilarious. When you you and him kept on dying. Yeah, and I got and really the, the last stage. <laughs> And he deleted it. Oh, it's not good anymore. Jeez, oh, man, come on. It was good. But oh well. Yeah. Oh well. And then uh, the uh, less discussed Double Dragon 2, me, Star Soldier, and J-Man was in that one. But that's my all-time favorite Double Dragon game. The Let's Play Discuss part was called Let's Play Discuss Double Dragon 2, the ECW. <laughs> I just watched a Van Damme edition of Double Dragon on YouTube. That was funny. If you remember, there's also a Mortal Kombat Bloodsport edition and Lionheart Street Fighter edition with Van Damme. Oh, yeah. And there's a Double Dragon edition with Double Impact. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty good. I had to see that one. Yeah. All right, March 11, 2015. Now let's play Double Dragon 3. Um, Not the Genesis version. This is the NES version that's audible and better. Yeah, I agree. And people bash Double Dragon 3, but it's not that bad of a game. It's just not as good as Part 2. It's average. But the, sound, but the soundtrack is epic. Yeah. The soundtrack is epic in that. Um, okay. Me, Star Soldier, and We Guy were in the first one. And that was only two parts. Because um, uh, the last one was long, about 36, 36 minutes. And, of course, that's including the discuss part. Right. And... Um, so, yeah, that one featured, I'm pretty sure I, I remember off, off the top of my head who it was, but I'm looking over here to make sure. Me, Wee Guy, J-Man, and Purple. Yeah, I remember that one because, man, I was getting my butt kicked in the final level. Oh, yeah, in Egypt. And I played that that slow, fat idiot, Chin. It's garbage. Except when he has an iron claw. That's the only thing he's useful for. <laughs> yep, that's true. And then on tax day, we did Let's Play Beavis and Butthead. Oh, I missed that. Yeah, that one, that was okay. It wasn't as funny as I thought it would be. But in the first part, I think his first one is, um, we did Beavis, Beavis and Butthead voices. I did Mr. Uh, Mr. McVicker. <laughs> that was funny. Um, so, yeah, me, me, Beavis, and Buttman. <laughs> yeah, me, Beavis, and Buttman. More than that one. And, uh, of course, I was my bigger. <gasps> You're going to get expelled, butthead! <gasps> oh, cool. <laughs> Shut up, butthead. Hey, look, it's diarrhea. Diarrhea, cha cha cha. Diarrhea, cha cha cha. Yeah, and then J Man broke character and said, okay, okay, that was funny. <laughs> 
And so, yeah, it was um, me, J-Man, and we got in all three parts, to the best of my memory. Was yeah. that the Super Nintendo version? Yeah. Ah. Uh, oh, four parts, excuse me. That's discussed as the fourth one. And then on April 20th, let's play Rambo for the NES. Ah, oh, Rambo. Yeah. And I did do a little budget review of this back in 2010. Me, Venom, and Me, Venom, Angel, and the Unknown, I think was in that one. And um, five years later, I brought it on the S2K. First one, me, we guy, and J- it might be me, we guy, and Jamin, and all of them. Hmm. To the best of my memory, it might have been us three in the whole LP. I know I've been absent a lot. Yeah, my the Double Dragon Two might be the last one you're in. I think so. Yeah. Too much stuff yeah. going around. Yeah. And May thirtieth, let's play Mega Man Six. Oh, I wish I was in that one. And Star Soldier has really pissed me off because he he hates Mega Man Five, and so he was bashing it again. <laughs> And and I was like, and I really was getting uh, kind of upset during that commentary. And afterwards, I told him, "All right, dude, that, like, I know you hate it, but I feel like you're targeting me and trolling me on purpose. Like, just please knock it off." Oh, okay, I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> and so that's like really, there's, there's a few commentaries on S2K that pissed me off. I like all like, of them. Uh, huh? I like all the Mega Man games, all six of them. I don't like the first one, and that's where me and Star, Star Soldier would disagree. Also, uh, I mean, I mean, the first one is not bad. Like, Majora's Mask is not bad, but I love Ocarina of Time much better. So, in comparison, I'm like, eh, I don't care about Majora's Mask. And Mega Man 1 is the same way. I played Mega Man 2 first when I was a kid. So, going back to the first one is anticlimactic. Right. And I give it a 7 out of 10. And Star Wars is like, you got to be kidding me. It's a great game. It's better than Mega Man 5. I said, no way. It's not better than Mega Man 5. And then me and Star Soldier are getting to debates about that. And especially the Mega Man 5 LP we did last year. Oh, gosh. I mean, now, we weren't really pissed off on that one. That la- the last part, all the whole thing, like, he really does hate Mega Man 5, but the part where he rage quit and he got pissed, that was staged. Uh, it wasn't real. Kind of like with the Shadowgate 64. Yeah. <laughs> the stuff where, like, there's real anger and commentary, um, like, uh, a lot of real frustration that I felt, or some people felt, like, me with Mega Man 6 with Star Soldier. Jay, when he got mad in Mario 3, let's discuss. Should be throwing some words. Yeah, and um, me and we guy get in an argument in Mario 3 Part 7 and Pipe World about the leaf and the feather. <laughs> that was kind of pissed me off because he was being douchey in that part. And um, But yeah, there's a few times where some cer- certain commentaries, <laughs> like sometimes we may get pissed about stuff, but it's hard to tell because usually we're joking with each other and just, just uh, messing with each other and not really being serious. And at that time, there was one time in the Shadow Gate, let's discuss. Where Bear cut me off and I said, "You shut up! I'm not done." And but I, I was actually joking about that. Oh dang! So you, sometimes you can't tell if we're being serious or not, or if someone's really pissed. Right. Because we all joke with each other. Then there could be times it's kind of like a good wrestling. You know it's fake, but sometimes it could be real. And you're like, "Wait a minute, is this real?" You can tell when he really hurt. Huh? Uh, you can tell when we guy was pissed. Like when uh, I messed up his Super Spy Hunter LP. Like at the beginning where I yelled out, "Holy shit!" He got mad about that. Uh, okay, I, mean, I, I think I remember that, but I don't know. If, I don't remember if he got mad. But in part, if he was really mad about in part two, he we had to do two takes because uh, I kept trolling him in the the part on act on like on purpose or something. And he said yeah. stop the recording, and he got mad at me, and I said I'll leave. So just to let him have a fresh breath of fresh air. Yeah. So that was my fault. <laughs> He's a perfectionist. Uh, sometimes he'll might he take the videos too seriously. I mean, well. I can understand his channel. He has high quality videos on the gaming, go- gaming goose, whatever it's called, gaming going gone channel. Right. Uh, so I understand, like you know, he wants that to be high quality. But S two K, it's like, all right, come on, it doesn't have to be perfect. We don't. Unless he has a certain thing planned or scripted he wants to say, and that's one of the, that was one of the things that made me mad in Mega Man Six Part One. I had some things I wanted to talk about with Mega Man Six and Flame Man, Flame, Flame Man stage. Mm-hmm. And I get to say it because he was bashing Mega Man 5, and then we started arguing about that. God. And so I was like, oh, whatever, I'm going to keep it in there. At least it, w- it would make for some good commentary. And, oh, there was a time of low-budget review Super C where it, Swindoll was kind of pissed me off at first. 
when he would start yelling, don't argue with me, it's got better graphics, I said. Uh, they look the same. And, but see, we know each other so well that, you know, I'm able to let him get away with that. And plus, it, I realized it was coming off good in commentary, and that's when Charlie discovered us. And he said, you guys were together, mate. It was funny. And I played it back. It was funny. And uh, when we take a break from recording for the next part, he goes, I'm not making you mad, am I? Because I'm just trying to, you know, make this better. And, and then, you know, and I was like, no, no, it's good. And at first it kind of was making me mad a little bit, but it was like good chemistry. So I rolled with it. Right. And uh, so, yeah, it's like sometimes in these commentaries, uh, you could probably tell who's getting pissed or – or it might just be people that really play off each other real well. And me and Swindoll have known each other for a long, long time. So it, it was, uh, even though we make making arguments, it's comfortable, like, to where we can argue with each other. And uh, it, it becomes entertaining. Right. And so, uh, um, yeah, so, and Mega Man 6 is one of the times I was getting pissed off <laughs> in part one. And I told him, I said, all right, if you want to troll me for the rest of this LP, you can do it. You got to do another shout-out video of SC2K saying something about, oh, these guys are butthurt because I made fun of Mega Man 5. And, Sorry, you know, did it. Yeah, yeah, and he did it. He did. He recently uploaded a video about he won a song at the Hedgehog 2 Championship. Yeah. And, and he said SC2K stinks. So that was part of the plan right there. And, uh, yeah, so, so Mega Man 6, you know, was a good LP. But you notice in the last, final, the last few parts he died down on the – insults of Mega Man 5 because I knew it pissed me off. <laughs> Even though I told him, I said, well, you can do that, just keep your word and do a shout-out video at least. Right. Like a call-out video. Like, oh, S2K screws over Star Soldier. They got butt hurt and banned me because I made fun of Mega Man 5. <laughs> and I guess I forgot about that. Uh, so I said, I told him, I was like, no, I just felt like I was being targeted, like you're trying to troll me on purpose. Like, enough of that. We're talking about Mega Man 6 here. Leave Mega Man 5 alone. <laughs> On the time we got, I got mad when Star Soldier gave Battle Clash a low rating. Oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Battle Ass. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, and, and moving on, here's an interesting podcast. Um, June 3rd, 2015, my 15th anniversary of me graduating from high school. The S2K show, Interview with Magus. Oh, Have you heard that one yet? Yeah, I did. I actually watched that. Magus is awesome. That was a good podcast. I Man, I was so glad to get him in that. And I made a format of what questions I was going to ask him, and I was like, I've got to ask him about the fake death controversy. I've got to ask him about that. This is going to be awesome to hear his side of the story. Pepperoni and, and cheese. Yeah, he told his side of the story. Star Soldier's in that one, too. Right. Um, he told his side of the story. Oh, we guy was in it, too, barely. He, he said a few things. You know, I told we guy ahead of time. I thought he already knew who Magus was. He didn't. He had no clue who he and when he sent me the, 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 the audio file for the, the Skype recording, he called an interview with Magnus. <laughs> like, no, not the TNA wrestler. <laughs> I'm talking about the character from Chrome Trigger. Not, not Magneto. And, and so, yeah, not Magneto. And I told him ahead of time, he, he agreed to be in it. <laughs> but then something came up, he couldn't be in it at first, but then he joined the call later on. <laughs> and he didn't hardly say nothing. And even Magnus is like, dude, you can say something. Yeah, I wish. And we guy usually talks a lot. I wish I was in that one because he remembers me. I think. Yeah. Because I was in a Skype discussion with him about overlooked video games. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool if you were in it. Uh, J Man could not be in it. Um, and so yeah, Star Soldier, they know each other. And Magus, when he, the first words Magus said in the Skype call was, "Whoa, effing Star Soldier, dude." <laughs> <laughs> and so, so that was pretty cool. And uh, the good stories from Magus about how he got started, the controversies he dealt with. Right. Not, and not just the fake death thing, but, I mean, just other stuff with Semper Games and his first video where he bashed a Chrono Trigger fan-made game. Oh, yeah. All that stuff was good. So that was a good podcast, one of the best ones we had in a long time. I remember Semper Games. They were saying uh, he threw a pineapple, and most people were like, he threw a... Of exploding fruit, and since I played Metal Gear Solid a lot, I knew what pineapple really meant. He actually meant grenade. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I mean, and we talked about Skip Rogers, the birth of that, and how they came about and all that stuff. I remember when that stuff first started happening. That was cool. yeah. Whoa, Bonnie Slim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
You know, it's a good time. So I, we should do more interviews more often. Uh, like, I mean, one of had probably three interviews I remember. Stuart Shafet, um, Star Soldier, and Magus. And so we should do more interviews more often if we can find the right people, um, depending on who they are. We, we Not many people know this. Bear 13 tried to get an interview with Billy Mitchell. And Billy Mitchell, I think, just, just uh, kind of blew it off. And I think he had agreed to it at first from what they told me. He agreed to it, and then, like, when they tried to call him that day to get it, the interview going, he never answered the phone or someone answered saying he's not here. Uh, so Bear, Bear gave up on it. So that would have been cool if we had an interview with Billy Mitchell. That would have been nice. Yeah. And so, uh, all right, so moving on. The next day after the Magus podcast, oh, yeah, we continue the Mega Man 6 LP. Uh, that was all me. We got Star Soldier in that one. And then June fifteenth, upload a video promoting the S2K website. Um, and earlier this month, the beginning of this month, we started the Punch Out LP. Oh. And regular Punch Out, not Mike Tyson's Punch Out. It's the same Future thing. Mr. Dream. Yeah. It just has Mr. Dream. Yeah. And the first one was uh, me and Star Soldier. The second one was me, Michael Burhan, and his friend. I forgot Sean Michelin, maybe. Um, and the third one was me, we guy, and a stranger by the name of Jeff, who we haven't seen in a long time. Jeff from Strictly Sega America, formerly known as Strictly Sega of America. Uh, for the first commentary in over probably a year and a half, he appeared. And let's play Hawaiian Punch Out, part three. Was it better on the Genesis? <laughs> I think he says about that. He'd be better on the Genesis. <laughs> he fell asleep. And so, yeah, good to see. Jeff, or here, Jeff again in commentary. And then, of course, Let's Play Discuss Punch Out was me, We Guy, and Star Soldier. And that was done about a week ago or so. So, yeah. Um, not a bad year for S2K. I just wish, uh, I mean, I missed the days of We Guy doing LPs, J Man doing LPs, even Barry used to do LPs back then. Debt Fan, I don't know, I don't know if Debt Fan did LPs, but he was in commentary. I remember him in some of my commentaries. The last yeah, one, Super Dodgeball. That and Ninja Gaiden, too. Yeah. He was also on Star Tropics commentaries. Um, I forgot what else. But, um, yeah, so that is all we did for the S2K in the past year. Not bad. Um, so, yeah, and then the six-year anniversary, a little bit late with it, but it was the 20th that we started the YouTube channel. The first two years were definitely the best. And um, so, yeah, six years now the YouTube channel has been around. And 11 years since the website was founded. And it is back. And so that is real good. And, yeah, so for those of you who care, please check out s2gay.com if you want to join a forum. It's a, t a small, tight-knit forum. Um, a lot of people there are nice, and uh, especially Kevin, the co-founder. He reminds me a lot of Vix Gemini, like real, like real nice, one of the nicest guys you can meet. Uh, never met him in person, but uh, one of the, one, a genuinely, genuinely nice guy. And uh, he is the co-founder with me on S2K. Most people on YouTube on this channel have not heard of him because he doesn't do commentaries or anything. He doesn't run the YouTube channel. He mainly just oversees the actual form. And um, he may also tweet because we share the Twitter page as well. Right. And so, yeah, so that is it for this six-year anniversary of the S2K show. So next year for 7th anniversary, uh, hopefully um, we get more people in. But, I mean, let's, let's face it. I don't know if, I mean, the channel the channel has seen its glory days. I mean, it, we can still do videos on here and stuff, but, I mean, the glory days are behind us. So it's not obviously not going to be the same as the old days. And you know, we talked about that before. But uh, uh, hopefully we can still have uh, a great uh, rest of the year leading into uh, 2016. And then hopefully on New Year's 2016, we're going to do a 2016 year review and all that good stuff. So anything you want to say before we go? Um, yeah, I have a question for the viewer base. Um, I am planning Resident Evil 2. And the reason I haven't started on it yet is I asked a question on the Magus group. Was which playthroughs or which story would you guys would like to see? Would you like to see the... The canon story, which was Claire A in Leon Scenario B, or the non-canon one, which was 
Leon scenario A with Claire scenario B. All right. So, yeah, please post your comments below. And I will post this in the Magus group as well. Post comments on there. And give us some feedback to see what you want to see. Or to, see to say what you want to see, whatever. And, yeah, so. All right, so that is it. We are out of here. Hopefully we will. Uh, I don't know what LP I want to do next. But um, I have an idea. I'm still trying to get used to my new computer and how to record on that. But, uh, yeah, so um, we still got plenty to go in 2015. Hopefully we can have more lulls and the ECW. And hopefully, Gentry, you can bring us some more commentaries. And a new computer, hopefully. Yay. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, guys, we are out of here. I'm Ron Moore. I'm Gentry. And God bless and take care. Later.